x as in Xerxes. One day Xerxes the swordfish went home after school in a very happy mood. He ate lunch heartily and snuggled contentedly on the comfortable couch in their living room. This was not strange for him, as everybody knew how greedy and smiling he has always been. His mom, as she used to do, sat next to him on the couch and hugged him. How was your day, my dear boy? She asked, giving him a kiss on his cheek. Oh, mommy, everybody at school admires me for my big sharp nose. They call me super little nose and they want to play with me because they believe that they will benefit from me. They squeeze into the same desk with me so that they can use my nose as a ruler when we have a geometry class. And they always give me lovely compliments on my nose. For example, two days ago, while it was raining, everybody came and sat under my nose. When the teacher asked them the reason for doing it, they answered that this is how they protect themselves from rainwater and common colds. Yesterday, when the teacher asked why the Titanic sank during the history lesson, the saddle Sebring jumped in and shouted excitedly, because Xerxes was not passing by to break the iceberg. Everybody burst out clapping. But the best thing happened today. When the teacher asked me what present I would like Santa to bring, just before answering, everybody started shouting, a golden case for his nose, a golden case for his nose. Why would he like a golden case? The teacher asked and looked puzzled. So that he can protect his precious nose from possible injuries, they shouted. I am very happy. I will never miss school and I'll do everything to make the children happy. This will be very kind of you, my little boy, his mom said, because this way you will both be educated and make our world a better place to live. But how will our world become a better place to live? It is simple. Love is contagious. It travels and makes life beautiful. Take you and your classmates, for example. What happy children you are. The next day Xerxes headed for school happily as always, when halfway he heard her trending cries calling for help. Those cries were coming from school. Xerxes gave a flick with his strong tail and thrust at lightning speed forward so that he could get closer. An enormous fishing net, the one that people call troll net, skimmed mercilessly over the bottom of the sea, sentencing to death everything in its path including his teacher and all his classmates. Xerxes did not hesitate. He rushed and tore the net apart with his sharp nose setting everybody free. The next day, all the local press reports of a seabed were talking about the incident. The reporters did not fail to talk about the students' relationships and the love that bound them together. As love traveled far and wide, across the length and breadth of the oceans, and found lots of imitators, happiness traveled with it too.